everybody. Welcome to our very first Origami Wednesday for Summer Reading 2020. It's so good to see you all again. I know you've probably missed me, but now we're going to get back into it. All right, so today we're going to make burbs. Little paper burbs, and the nice thing is they sit up very nicely. They're very stable. Uh, this is one of two different burbs we're going to do this summer. Uh, but he's pretty easy and also, I think, very cute. So, all right. We're going to start with a piece of paper. I'm going to fold it corner to corner. Make a triangle. And I'm going to fold it the other corner to corner. Make a triangle. Now, this one's nice because if you figure out what color you want, like I have two colored paper, it's much easier for me to decide, okay, I'm definitely making a red bird. Okay, so after I've got corner to corner, I'm gonna fold this to the center. Okay, fold that guy to the center. All right, then I'll open it up, fold it like this, and then I'm gonna fold this about halfway okay now I'm estimating and then the videos I watched they all just estimated too this is an art not a science today it's all right okay let me get that a big crease but I am gonna unfold it we're gonna use that crease in a little bit so just be patient now I'm gonna fold my paper along that center crease So, I have little triangle, big triangle, okay. I'm gonna fold, the thing I like about this, this particular burb is, yes, I am saying burb and not bird, because in my heart, I am, they're just too cute to be called birds, I don't know. I'm gonna fold this down like that, but again, I'm just kind of estimating. This is going to be his little head, his little birdie head. Okay. So I have this. I'm going to open up one side. I'm going to fold from the point to the middle and from the point to the middle. Oops. And then I'm going to close that guy so we get this nice little bird beak. Look at it. It's this little tiny, delicate bird beak. I love it. Okay. Then I'm going to fold this. This is eventually going to be his tail feathers. So I'm going to fold it so it goes over about like that. Okay. Again, I am estimating. I This is kind of the airy fairy version of origami and I kind of love it. So once I fold that, I'm going to fold along that crease and he looks kind of weird but remember that initial crease that we made i'm going to use it now and that's going to make his tail feathers okay look tail feathers and you say oh well what about wings well this guy's going to be a wing okay now i'm using the base of his tail feather to where these two pieces of paper intersect and i'm going to fold it up okay flip this guy and do the same on the other side and I like doing this because then I can line up my creases and I know he's gonna have he's gonna be pretty equal there then I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna fold it up but then I'm gonna fold it underneath okay so I've got one side tucked one side not and I'm gonna fold this up and just give it a gentle crease so that I can just tuck that little guy in there too. Look at that. He's kind of a cardinal, but not really, but that's okay, because he's super cute. Then I'm gonna take my ink pen, and I'm gonna use a big ink pen for this guy. I like the big Sharpie. And I'm gonna give him an eyeball. You could also, this would be a prime time for a googly eyeball. That would be, a good decision as well. Googly eyeballs are always good on origami burbs. All right, and that's our little guy. Look at his cute little beak. He's so cute. So this 
So the nice thing is they can sit up really well in your windows. Okay. That's our little origami for this week. I'll look forward to seeing you again next week with a new fun animal. Have a great one. Bye.